Good morning, sir. Good morning, Lakshmi. I have seen your result. Yes. Please introduce yourself. Okay, sir. First of all, thank you for giving this opportunity. I am Venkat Nagalakshmi. I am a graduate in Computer Science and Engineering with a specialization of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science in Kakinada Institute of Engineering and Technology for women in 2024 with 7.5 GPA. I have done internships on Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning and my final project on Online Feedback Management System and my skill set includes Linux, GitHub, uh, Docker, uh, Maven, Jenkins and Kubernetes. I am excited to uh, explore new technologies and I am excited to contribute my, myself forward thinking values innovation and agility and reliability okay. how much red also out of five in the docker uh, four sir can you explain the docker architecture in simple words okay, sir. In Docker architecture, we have Docker client and Docker host, Docker daemon and registry. Whenever we have to uh, run the comments in Docker client, it goes to Docker daemon. Docker daemon checks the objects are there. The objects like uh, Docker images, networks, volumes uh, and uh, containers. In, in Docker daemon, the objects are not there. It will check the Docker registry. It will put, push, um, push the Docker registry and then give to the Docker client. So, Okay. Who will receive the request from the user in the Docker uh, architecture? Uh, who will receive? Docker client. Docker client. Docker client will communicate with the Docker. Docker host. You are using API server. Okay, okay. Mm. What are the different types of network available in the Docker? Do networks. Uh, okay. Bridge host or not? Yes, sir. What is the BT call network? Bridge networks. Bridge network. Is it possible to connect or disconnect with the host network or non network? Mm -hmm. No, sir. Host or none? Host, sir. We are not connect or disconnect the host network. Is it possible to connect or connect disconnect with none? Network? Yes, sir. Um, okay. What are the different types of volumes available in the Docker? Volume, sir. Labor volumes? Hmm. Wine volumes? Hmm. Anonymous volumes. Anonymous volumes. What is the difference between uh, what is the purpose of the bind volumes? Bind volumes can mount the volume. What is the purpose? Why you are using the bind volumes? For backuping data. If you store the data in the bind volumes, container data, if you delete the container, that application data will be there in the bind volumes. Okay, now if you delete the container, after then you can see the data. Okay, now that is the bind backup, bind backup, backup. For backup purpose, we are using the bind volumes. Okay, now I want to see the particular container CPU and memory usage of the uh, Docker, but I want to see the particular container CPU and memory usage in the Docker. How can I see? Docker in force. CPU and memory uses Docker system. System. Docker starts. Docker starts with the Docker starts container name. It will show the container CPU usage and memory usage. Mm -hmm. What is the command for the to see the, to see the running containers only? Uh, Docker ps. Uh, for all containers. Docker ps hyphen u. Docker ps. I want to delete all images at once. How can I delete? Uh, Docker rmy hyphen f. Sir. Docker RMI hyphen F hyphen F okay, image name. I want to delete all images at once. How can I delete? Mm -hmm. So I want to I, I don't want to delete single images. I want to delete all images at once. Mm -hmm. Docker RMI hyphen F P Q P S F Q dollar so uh, dollar bra bracket open Docker images hyphen Q. Oh, if you give the Docker images I will it will print the image I will uh, that all images will be deleted in the server. I want to delete all containers at once. So what is the command? Um, Docker RM hyphen F dollar uh, container and PQ. Docker PS hyphen E hyphen Q. Okay. Let me ask few questions in the Kubernetes. Um, what what is the purpose of the taint and tolerations? Taint and tolerations. So taint we can use it whenever we can taint the one node. The we another or we, any part. Uh, schedule it not schedule on that node node sir. So we can when uh, by using these tolerations we can uh, 
If you tend to the node, in that node, there is no parts will be the scheduled on that node. So by using toleration, you can schedule on the 10 nodes. Yes, okay. Okay. Do, uh, do you have any questions? No, sir. Okay. You need to improve a lot on the Docker volumes and Docker networks. You did not answer the Docker volumes and Docker volumes question. Please improve in that part, okay? Okay. Sir. In advanced level, you need to learn. Okay. Thank you.